Hello guys, welcome back to Racketology. My name is Zach and today I'm going to be showing you hopefully some useful tools for any of your grommets or head guard sets, which is going to be a degrometer and then a rab grommet grinder. So both of these do do the same function of removing cracked grommets from any type of racket, but they do do them a little bit differently. So we're going to kind of go over the differences of them and see which one might be able to work best for you. You know, if you have a customer base that largely is using some older classic rackets that, you know, you can't really replace any of the grommet strips or head guards quite as easily, it may be a good option for you to look into these. So without further ado, let's go ahead and demonstrate how they work. So as you can see, we have an older racket right here. So this is an old Prince CTS Lightning, but see the head guard is actually in really nice shape, but some of these grommets are kind of cracked and looking kind of ugly. So we're going to go ahead and use our degrometer first and I'm going to show you uh, how exactly you just take out that cracked grommet. So we're going to take the degrometer, we're just going to place it right over top and then we're just going to squeeze. And just like that, it just pops it right up. I'm going to use some pliers real quick. Actually, it didn't come out all the way. Uh, never experienced that. Usually, the scrometer actually works kind of decent. <laughs> well, there you go. That might be an issue with it. So, is that if the grommet is kind of big and it kind of sinks in the wrong way, then it won't actually make a clean cut. Hmm. I mean, I was already going to talk about some cons for it, but I haven't had it mess up on most of these. But then again, I haven't done too many of the super large starting uh, knots where you would place them typically. Let's try this one. See, that one made a clean, clean disconnect. So I could just pull that out with my fingers. See? So that's it. Just took out that grommet. You know, and just look around, see if there's any other ones. And there's one more right over here. So we'll go ahead and use the Rab Grommet Grinder. And we'll remove it using this. So then you just twist and put a little bit of pressure. And there you go. It just digs right into that grommet and removes it from that section. So now that we went ahead and removed those grommets, I'm going to go ahead and replace them too. So the thing about RAB is that they make these things called FitX grommets, right, in varying different sizes. So you just choose the right one for your frame. You know, so let's try a, a 4 0. So these are typical sizes for kind of like tie-offs, but sometimes, you know, it might be a 3.7 instead. And there we go. See, it slips right in there and just takes it to place. You know, they may not always match beautifully, but at least it's going to be protecting the string properly and it's not going to be too thin. And they have them in different sizes. So, you know, some of them are actually going to be longer for, you know, some of these grommets around the throat that have to go through the frame and then back up through this side. So that's really useful. 
But as you can see, we just went ahead and slipped them right in there. And now we have this area with new fresh grommets. That way we can actually string it up and we don't have to worry about the string breaking. So very important. And I was going to mention the differences, which is that the wrap grommet grinder here, you know, you could kind of go through every part of this and it's pretty thick actually. So as you even saw with my grommet grinder in comparison to my degrometer, that a degrometer for some reason was slipping inside of it and not completely disconnecting the grommet. So uh, I, I will say that that rarely happens and usually it, it goes pretty smoothly, but you know, in that case, I did have to bring out the grommet grinder to use that instead. Now, one other thing about this is that you only have so much space, right? So that's all you got. So if you're trying to do something like a Wilson profile, if you remember how thick those frames are, you have no chance of getting that over, right? The grommet grinder, you don't need to worry about that because you're just able to kind of go in from each side, you know? And then even if you want to do it on, say, something like the CTS, but you want to do it on one of these lower grommets, which we do have the replacements for, you know, you're not going to be able to fit it around the frame to do that. You know, so you can only use a grommet grinder for that. So as far as effectiveness, you want to just pretty much stick with the RAB grommet grinder, you know, because there's no real need to own two of these. But... I guess, you know, if you prefer this type of setup where you have the nice grip instead of just grinding it out, but really, I, this is all you need, and I, I would prefer to use this if, if you had to recommend for anyone to use something or buy one of these products, it would just be the grommet grinder. It's just a lot easier to use around the frame. You don't have to worry about little contingencies about the frame being too thick or whether or not it's going to be around the throat that you need to replace that cracked or broken grommet. So. This really does come in handy, so fully recommend it. All right, hopefully it's been useful. Thank you so much for making it to the end of this video, guys. Go ahead and leave a like and hit the subscribe button. That way you can stay up to date on all the future content that we're going to be providing. And feel free to leave a comment, seriously. I mean, I love to know about the feedback from what you guys think of each episode or just what you want me to review over next or demonstrate. I mean, I have tons of different types of stringing equipment and some maybe I haven't even heard of, so maybe you might be able to enlighten me in that way. But anyway, guys, take care and happy hitting.